Hi everyone, it's Joel and Stu here, and I just want to give a big thanks for 10,000 subscribers for hitting this milestone. I promised that I would do a girl voice tutorial, and well, here it is. A couple things I do need to say before this tutorial starts. This tutorial is great for anyone that is trying to feminize their voice, including transgender individuals that may find this video helpful in their transition. First things first, I'm going to be splitting this video to three different sections and I'll timestamp each one so you can go back to each part whenever you need to. The first section is going to be vocal range. This first part is going to help you with your pitch as well as a good warm up that I would recommend you doing. Um, second section is going to be position and stability. This one's pretty self explanatory. Um, it's going to help you keep your voice stable and help your tone build some resistance so you can talk in a female voice for a long period of time. And last section is going to be tips and tricks. I'm just going to give you a couple things you should and shouldn't do, um, as well as things that may help you improve a lot quicker. Before we can start talking in a feminine voice, we need to focus on your vocal range. Um, this is crucial for all types of voice impressions, especially the girl voice. And I think one of the best ways to help with this is with scales. Listening to a piano or humming uh, to match the pitch of what you hear is a great way to expand your vocal range. Um, for now, just start with sounds like la or mmm, just hum. Um, start at a low note and slowly progress up uh, note on the piano. Keyword here is pitch and changing your pitch is what is going to allow you to achieve a more feminine voice. Expanding your range will only help you know at what pitch you want to be at so you don't sound too high like Mickey Mouse or anything too low. You're looking for something in between which is going to give you a more natural um, high pitched voice which is what you're looking for. Just a side note, people confuse pitch and tone um, but in the most simple terms Pitch is how high or low your voice can go, while tone is the mood of how you sound. Scales also work as a warm up that you can do before any session or any time you practice. Um, so it kind of clears out your throat. You, like I said, just an example, you start low and each step you take um, gets progressively higher. You can either go as high as you can, as low as you can, or you can go high and then low. You can start super low, go super high. Everything you do is going to help. So, again, just an example. La 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 la. And then you can go down. So this is probably the hardest part to explain and took me the longest to write down in a way that makes sense. So bear with me, uh, positioning or position. This is what's gonna make you sound more authentic. So more like a realistic female. Um, it's also going to help you like stay away from like that, like femboyish voice if that's not what you're looking for. Um, but these are all going to be different ways of explaining the same thing. So I think the best way of explaining this is to raise the back of your tongue. Uh, so if you put your fingers on your throat and you raise your tongue to like the roof of your mouth, you're going to feel um, this little section in your throat pull upwards. That's what you're trying to keep while you're talking in a feminine voice. Another way of explaining this position is the feeling you get when you're inhaling while yawning or you are taking a, a big deep breath with your mouth, like through your mouth. Um, so it's kind of like, like, and then you're going to feel a bit of tension here. Um, and that's how it's supposed to feel. Don't confuse this with what you need to do. Um, this is just an understanding of what it's supposed to feel. So you don't need a yawn every single time you try to do a female voice. It's definitely going to take some time to get used to and it's going to be the most tiring part because we're building those muscles. Um, but eventually with enough practice, you'll be able to go to that position super quickly. And that's what your goal is. Side note, I know I didn't mention resonance, but resonance is defined as the quality and sound. Um, this goes hand in hand with positioning and stability, which I'm gonna be talking about in a little bit. Um, because over time you will get used to where you want to be so you don't have to worry too much about this. Now that you understand vocal range and positioning, we can finally move on to what you've all been waiting for, speaking in the female voice. So start with simple words like hi or hey um, till you find what you're looking for. And to do that, you're going to keep that sweet spot position that we talked about earlier, and then you're going to raise the pitch of your voice. 
So I'll do this with you because it is complicated and it's very hard to understand. But um, this is just a way of saying raise your Adam's apple. So uh, kind of push your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Uh, <clears throat> when I do this, it sounds sounds like this. So when I it's it might be hard for you because I've, I've just been doing it for a long time. I don't know your experience, but keep trying until you find something similar to this where you can keep this position and still talk. Right. You can start with, hey, hey, hello. Hey, um, now we're going to change the pitch of our voices and that's what's going to make it sound more feminine. This is the hard part. So start normal. This isn't what my normal is. Then you're going to go up each step, kind of like the scales, right? So you go up high, 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 hey, 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 until you find something that you like, it's <laughs> it's going to take some time to get used to. Eventually, it'll be second like kind of muscle memory and you'll immediately go to where you want. You just need the practice and you'll get there. All right, stability is going to come from being relaxed and having confidence. This even happens to me once in a while. When I get nervous, my voice does get shaky and it does start to break a bit. Um, this is something that happens to everyone. So make sure you are starting um, to have longer conversations in your female voice. Take a deep breath and stay relaxed. Stability also comes from practicing and taking the time to putting in the effort to do your best every single day. Just make sure not to strain yourself. Take breaks whenever you need to. Um, the more you do it, the stronger you will. And eventually you'll be able to do it for longer periods of time. All right, last section is a couple of tips and tricks that will help you get it down a lot quicker and easier. Um, things I wish I knew when I first started doing it. Um, so number one is going to be sing in a female voice. Um, and if you don't like to sing, just read the lyrics off your favorite songs. Um, anyways, it's not easy, but I will tell you that it will help you improve a lot quicker. Um, if you don't like to sing, like actually don't like to sing, just hum the pitch of the song in a slightly higher pitch. Um, everything you do will improve your voice. Um, for the people that are more experienced, here's a challenge for you. Try duetting yourself. So switch between your normal and female voice throughout the song. Um, yeah. Number two, raise your chin and smile. Uh, while doing your voice, you can either do one or both if you like. Um, but doing this will help with the stability of your voice so it's not shaky or anything like that. Another one will be talking a bit slower and having breathier words. This is going to make you sound more authentic. Um, this is going to avoid um, sound coming from your nose. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. No, it's more breathier than short. Number four, I've heard a lot of other tutorials talk about drinking a lot of water. I think this is optional. Personally, I think just drink water when you need to. Um, you're going to feel your mouth um, very dry and your throat. But personally, if I drink a lot of water when I'm doing my female voice, I get a lot of loogies in my throat, which actually makes it harder for me to speak because I always got to clear my throat out every single time and it gets really annoying but um just don't drink too much water but also stay hydrated number five make sure to stay relaxed like i said take a deep breath if you need help with this what you could do is like run in place for like 20 seconds um then immediately stop and start talking in your feminine voice this acts the same way as if you were to get nervous so it raises your heart rate um, it's very hard, but if you're able to do this, then you're a master. You're a master at it. So try that a couple times if, like, you getting nervous, if stability is your problem. Um, give that a couple times. It is very hard, even for me, so don't feel bad. Copying slash mimicking someone's voice is another great way of learning super quickly. Um, by listening and manipulating your own voice to match whoever you're trying to sound, um, works surprisingly well. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. 
If you have any other questions or need any specific answers that weren't covered in this video, you can join my Discord server and ask me. Um, the links will be in the description below. Make sure you keep practicing. I know you guys can do it. I love all of you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.